Okay, next league today. We're playing this green-white deck. Came like 10th or something at the GP. It's got two main game plans. You've got Carnage Tyrant plus On Sarah's Wings, or a Vine Mare or Vanguard plus On Sarah's Wings. That's like this Bogles plan. You've also got the March of the Multitudes Flourish plan. We've seen green-white tokens. And to support all this, we just have the solid mid-range plan with Planeswalkers and Treasure Maps. Deck seems kind of kind of sweet. Have you tried replacing Vivian and Khan with Experimental Frenzy and replacing the rest of the deck with red cards? I'll keep that in mind, Skeptivist. I must admit I am skept skeptical. I almost said Skeptimal. Which doesn't quite work. Turn 1 Elves, turn 3 Khan. I wish we were on the play. On the play, this would be absurd. Obviously we need to draw green mana, but... Uh, white mana, but don't we always? Hey, perfect. Literal best draw. Alright. Now we face the black green menace. Took us a while. God, we're dead. 100% dead. God, Wild Growth Walker is a messed up magic card. Let me tell ya. Well, that's fair, Bobbin. Because of Rekindling Phoenix? You mean? We can't even play this. I cast this and then it just dies next turn. I guess I'm just casting my Lanoir Elf. Or I could play this in plus to dig for a white land. <sighs> Alright. If we draw a white source, we're in a fine position. We get to hold open settle, end of turn march. We get something going that way. Hey, Westby. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, something along those lines must be. I guess I just fire off this treasure map. Try and dig for this white source. I'm going to take six next turn, maybe eight if they draw a Jade Light Ranger. Want to buy better mana. I mean, we knew this was a problem of the hand when we kept it, to be fair. I brought this upon myself. Vivian. Vivian minus one treasure map, yep. As is the way of this world. Uh-huh. Deal. Keep. Interesting. So I get to make a bunch of tokens here. And then they get to finality me into the ground. Interesting. So I can take make four tokens. Kind of just want to get this wild growth walker out of play though. Maybe this is overly aggressive. Like if they play a carnage tyrant afterwards, I feel really silly. You could just block two tokens and a jade light, or just make a bunch of tokens and take six. You think we hold the saddle? I agree. Yeah, we want to get rid of the Vivian most likely. Interesting. 
they just like holding open a contempt or something? Alright. Draw for turn. Nice. Um so I can attack down the Vivian here with my soldiers. And then play Khan plus, have Seto open to protect Khan. what I meant to do here like I could leave the elves open to bo block with them potentially but then if they like kill the elves we don't have settle up which is potentially awkward vanguard steal away yes obviously they give us the vanguard because they don't want us sealing away this Hold open settle, protect our Khan. They could contempt Khan, which is fine with me. So our board is so wide now. Next time we get to have like a massive march of the multitudes. Obviously we can never beat finality, but that's just always the case whenever you're playing against Green Black with any deck. Yeah. I bet Emmy wants to settle this, so if they finality, they don't have an unbeatably large creature in play. This might be. Might be a mistake. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. Nexus of Fate can beat finality, that is true. Nexus of Fate does not care about finality. Oh wow. This time we make 3, 7, 8, 9, and then they die. They don't finality us. Asking for a lot there, but you know. Pass the turn. Okay, they have Vivian, two mystery cards. This means they have finality. Are we meant to block? <sighs> um... So I need to have enough creatures off the march to kill them if they don't have finality. If we block they don't finality, that's true. We need to get it out of their hand or else we can't keep playing magic. You're right, Bobbin. You're right. I think I agree. I'm going to gain some life back anyway because we're going to march for free. Is the finality? Oh wow, what? We just have nothing. Just actually have nothing. I would like to kill you. Not to be rude or anything. Alright. They have an instant black graph, obviously. Consume the meek. Consume the meek. Right, I've got the sideboard guide from the person who played this deck open. So I'm just going to copy it card for card. And assume that the person who 
came 10 for the GPU of this deck knows how to play it better than I do. At least for my first league with it. So we take out this stuff. Bring in Honor Guards. Khan. Vivian. Settle. It's become less combo-y. And uh, more mid-range. Seems reasonable. Yeah, they weren't expecting Flourish, exactly. Oh, Fog. Fog would do it. Yeah, mo Moment of Peace, whatever it's called. Uh, moment of Reflection. Pause for Reflection. I got that third time. My string constant's out of date. Whatever will I do? Am I allowed to moan about this Archer of Araska yet? Sure. String const. Alert, alert, string const problems. Oh my god. I hate Lanawar Elves in every deck apparently. Oh, This is like my least favourite card in Magic. Uh, admittedly, it makes like way more sense in this deck than in Black Green, but I really hate playing with this card. It's so tilting all the time. Man, what Elves is so good. Oh my god, Jarvis. Don't tell me you're on their side. Because my elves are ugly, don't insult them. They're a bit ugly. They're a bit. Land, Chubacabra. Ooh. They have, um, Golden Demise. Hey, Sadie. It is kind of an explosion. Oh, this is just like 100% golden demise. I don't think I can afford to lose my mana dorks. All right, take it. Yep. You really hope that was a bluff. I don't. That would be miserable. Make me so upset. <sighs> oh. I guess I'm going like Khan plus to soak up some damage. I guess that's the plan. Maybe dig for my land drop. If I'm ultra lucky. Yep. Okay. I mean, Khan soaks up six damage here and replaced himself. I think I'm pretty fine with this. Yep. Calm down. Vivian. Midnight Reaper is a scary one. Hmm. What do I do now? Find a, a planes. 
cast con plus again. Just like keep stalling for time here. Yeah, for sure, Bobbin. Format is very varied. Right, to God, oh my god. In exile for us to find in a little while. We've got this one free to put it to our con. I don't know, I really enjoy playing the black green deck in the PTQ, but I've definitely uh, gone off it a bit playing it since. I think fi like Finality is just a really obnoxious magic card. Find Finality. So much better than like most of the other things you can do in the format. Carnage Tyrant. Uh huh. So. What am I doing with this Khan? I think I just like kind of want to keep plussing this Khan. Go get the honor guard. God, we need to get this Vivian off the table at some point. We can't actually deal with her at the moment. And she's like, if she ultimates, we die. I really enjoyed the black green deck when I exactly. I enjoy winning Bobbin more than anything. My favorite deck is the one I win it with. I do not know how we answered this Vivian at all. Incidentally. Guess I keep plussing. Uh, we ended up going 4 and 1 with the Phoenix stack. It felt really sweet. The 4 matches we won, we didn't lose a single game. Mostly faced white decks with it. We played the mirror once and faced four, like, white aggressive decks. Right, uh, just cast this Knight of Grace. Oh, you've won for a Vivian ult? That's disgusting. I've never seen anyone win for a Vivian ult. Like, her ultimate is absurd. Uh, I've, I've only ever played one league with Blue Red Phoenix, so I have no strong preferences on builds. I have not seen the one with more cantrips, though. Oh, wait, I have, I have. That was Eduardo's list, right? Eduardo's? With, like, crashers and stuff? That seemed kind of sweet. That seemed, like, much more aggressive to me. Right. So I need them to somehow attack with all three creatures here. Which would be, like, a bit egregious. As always, Vivian is just the best card in green black. Not close. I'm willing to believe I cannot beat the Vivian Ultimate. I guess I could draw a million March of the Multitudes, even that probably doesn't do it. I've definitely seen a lot of people losing with Vraska emblems. I don't I think I've seen one person lose with a Lily Last Hope emblem. God. 
I almost just want to bring these in. I get that they're really bad against disenchants, but Vivian is just the scariest card. With such a wide margin. Like, this Vine Mare feels wholly irrelevant in the matchup. It's like, actual blank cardboard. Let me bring in one coffee, I think. Outplay the Wrath Grimpton by going down to one anyway. Exactly. What do I think about this deck? I am just about to enter my third game ever with the deck. So I don't really have any opinions on it. Yeah. Like, it looks like... So, like, my opinions before I started this league were that the deck looked like a bit of a mess, but seemed to be doing powerful things. That's what roughly where I'm at with it at the moment. I think I just want a bunch of bindings for their Vivians. I know these aren't great against their Planeswalkers and their Assassin's Trophies, but they might be a necessary evil as we saw that game. <sighs> Is this a keep? This might be a keep. We have it to play on turn two. Any land lets us cast Khan on four. Obviously, if we draw a green source next turn, this hand's great. I'm going to keep this. Not sure this is correct, but I think it's close. Yeah, there's definitely upside for sure. Agreed. Wow. It's really good against me. Hey, Gab. Welcome to everyone joining us from the big raid. Watching me, watching me die with green spells in hand, the way it was meant to be. <laughs> How did the drafts go, Gab? Yeah, nice deck, I know, right? <laughs> you missed the Phoenix, you did. I did up going 4 and 1 with Phoenix. The deck actually felt pretty good. Like, every single game we won with it, it felt like we were going to lose and then destroyed them. Gab's apartment building is burning down. Uh, I hope you get that sorted out. That sounds awful. Wow. Uh, uh, right. This is a demoralizing moment for the raid to be timed for. <laughs> You would have drafted more forests. <laughs> that, that's, that seems like a good decision, Wags. Alright, alright. All right. Moving swiftly on. Blue Red Phoenix is also tremendously awful against tr Blue Black Surveil. I don't know how relevant that is, Sacrasta. Blue Black Surveil is not terribly good, alas. We do have a lot of a lot of cards that make green mana. I'm kind of sad that we didn't draw Arch of Raska on turn six, just to like rub it in. How good is the Lich deck? I have played neither with or against it, so I could not say. I kind of want to try it at some point, but I imagine that some point will be after the Pro Tour. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, functional hand, kinda. To the extent that 
casting two mana free ones can be called functional. Five lich. What's the fifth lich? Oh, five color lich. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand. Green mana. Green mana is strong. Might be the weakest colour of mana, but... I guess that's not even true. It's probably one of the strongest ones nowadays. One of the modern design philosophy. Cross this so we can block Amara. I did forget to include islands. I forgot to include islands. Forgot to include Teferi's, wow. I'm just like 100% dead. <laughs> That's such an absurd card here. I guess I'm casting the second Knight of Grace and like staying on defense forever. Attack with this, cast Knight of Grace past the turn. And then rip a land for the on Sarah's wings. It's not even clear I'm meant to attack. They block with the soldier and I have to pay for life. I guess I guess I'd be okay with that exchange, but it's not terribly appealing. On Sarah's wings on Vanguard seems okay, it does. Except then they like tribunal us. You know, I note you have Tarnished Tyrant and Onsera's Wings. Do we have Savage Stomp? Oh my god. Alright. So we, we can double block with a bunch of First Strikers here. Can't really beat a removal spell, but... on. Exciting. Land please. Yep. Uh, I mean it makes mana. It's basically what I asked for. And do I think... <laughs> I, I doubt it's based on me, considering the artwork would have been commissioned like a couple years ago. We can but dream, though. Alright. Yes, I un F6. Go like this. I like to start making tokens is the problem. We really need to hit a land for this next turn. If we do, we might have a chance. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, opponent's draws have not been bad. Maybe they jam into Settle. I mean, opponent is supposedly a good player, so... Also, they don't even need to jam with that many creatures to kill us. I can put a on Sarah's Wings on the Vanguard, then I gain... Then I die. Alright, I'm just going to pass the turn. Uh, 
Sass of the Wreckage is really awkward against the March of the Multitude stack, let me tell ya. Daniel. Alright, so we eat a couple creatures with first strike, I guess, and then we settle them. So that they get like two less lands to the extent that that will ever matter. Okay. I mean, if they don't have a march of the multitudes, we can win this. I guess they're drawing a spell every turn for the rest of the game now. Because they have no lands left in their deck. <gasps> what happened in the green-black matchup? Uh, I kept a hand of a lot of upside game free and did not get there and died. That's roughly what happened. <laughs> They still have some non-basics, this is true. They can run like Temple Garden, Temple Garden. That is a Temple Garden. Alright, zero spells in hand, I like it. Deal. Let's uh, get Vanguard in here. Hit them for four. Let's just put it on the first striker instead, which is like fine too. I think I, I just want the fastest possible clock though. So this is like four turns in the air. Fifteen lands in play is absurd, yes. <laughs> Rawr. Okay, that's an alright one. Oh, I have to sack a knight if I put it on one? Is that true, or did... Huh. Isn't that only if they're both legendary you have to sack one? Yeah. I, th I think, um, I think Paul is right about this one. Right, so I just swing and hold up Settle for next turn because of the history, I guess. Can they even attack us next turn? This is like 5, 10. But we block 1, pay 4, gain 2. So we go up to 20. We go down to 15. This blocks this. This blocks this. They can't even, like, clearly attack us next turn. Hmm. So I think I can cast a Vivian. I could hold up Settle to play around Flourish, I guess. It's like the other option. This is kind of tough. The other option is Vivian Minus, which, like, takes a tiny bit of power off their board. I don't think that's too relevant. I kind of like it, though. I get like this the most. And then, like, next turn I can just start plussing Vivian every turn. I 
if, if they want to attack Vivian to take her down, they're going to lose a bunch of their board into my first strikers. Yeah, those, those are the reasons. Just, like, it helps with legendary sorceries and stuff. I've actually had that come up. I've, like, cast the legendary sorcery where, like, on Sarah's wings was my enabler. Nice. Lands, plocks. Lands are great. Can't tap four. And I think I just hold up settle. Because then they can't gain any life for my next turn. So as long as they don't draw a Banishing Light, Oblivion Ring, whatever, Tribunal, they can't survive. The fact we're winning this game is wholly absurd. Like, kind of unbelievable to me. If you announce you're dead more often, you will win more games of magic. Exactly. I'm just going to do this now. There's no way they have six basics left in their deck, and I kind of want to, like, not have to deca declare my first strike blocks. Concession settle, hopefully. It does seem to be that way. I do remember when we were at 6 life. Alright, I'm going to be lazy and look at the sideboarding guide again. Because this person actually came 10th for the GP of the stack, and I did not. Alright, so. I guess we treat them as if they're mono white. Something similar, so... According to the person who made this guide, they would bring in on Sarah's Wings, which makes a lot of sense. So that card was bananas, that game. See, always seems worse against our opponent than Mono White. Hmm. Didn't want to settle. Settle was, like, absurd. I said more mid -rangey. Yeah, the player made a post about it. Which is up on CFB. Uh, it's up on CFB, Spanky. Does not cover the tokens matchup though, because tokens has not been around much recently. So we have to figure out most of it on our own. Um, I wish there was a way for us to ever answer the stupid marshals. Maybe we just need bindings for the marshals. It's like a binding or two. I guess we kind of want Vine Mares for these on Sarah's Wings too, whilst we're at it, maybe. Yeah, Binding's okay versus History. It's not, like, great, but it does something. I feel like COA is not the best. We can, like, probably trim on Planeswalkers too. Oh, they're going to be on Lyra and Shalai post board. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the Khans and bring in another Vivian. I think Khan doesn't, like, interact with the board enough. Possibly. Need to cut two more cards. Yeah, I agree, Treasure Map seems a bit weaker. Like, can probably cut some Khan insurance. I don't think we're winning, like, we need them for the On Sarah's Wings, obviously, but... I don't think we want too many of this sort of stuff in this matchup. Just like kind of expensive and slow. Let's try this. Kind of sideboarding a bit at random, but 
That's just like us learning the deck, right? Trying it out for the first time. Seeing how it plays. Right, this is fine. Take this. Wow. No second land drop, huh? Brave. Hey there, Loki. Counting on our settle, bailing him out. Oh my god. Uh, does On Sarah's Wings do anything against, like, I think Fine Mare with On Sarah's Wings doesn't do, do that much against Lyra. It just stops them attacking with the Lyra. Which is, like, fine, but. Oh, we played Phoenix earlier. I should update the title at some point soon. I guess we're not settling for a million years. I kind of want to hold back the Vanguard to block. That's probably stupid. Though. Should probably just attack. Kind of trading two for one, which is fine. Fine exchange. I tested one of the lists that top aided that had like three Electromancers and had the Enigma Drakes in. It felt pretty good. We only faced white decks. It felt like basically every game we played we were wildly behind and then we just suddenly killed our opponent over the course of two turns. It felt pretty powerful to me. Nice. Destraw. I kind of want to save it for the Carnage Tyrant, in case they have a Tribunal. That's fair, Carlos. That could be the case. I kind of want to just go Tyrant into On Sarah's Wings. I think that's the plan. Probably getting elephanted next turn, so I'm just going to get my damage in. Hmm. Okay, no elephant. They do get to flip a landing here, which is not great for me, but... I feel like landing's probably a bit slow here. Definitely not settling them. I think I go Marshall into Marshall, and then I feel a bit dumb for not settling them. But I get to hold back the Vanguard as a blocker next turn, and I'm gonna have the Tyrant as a blocker, so it's probably fine. Oh, Vivian is nice. Vivian's a really good draw. So what Vivian means is if they Tribunal are on Sarah's Wings, we can now blow up the Tribunal and get the on Sarah's Wings back. So it gives us like a layer of protection for our, um, for our combo, which is nice. Yep. Uh, it does enchant something. It just works in a weird way, though. I'm gonna throw away this vanguard for free life. I guess if they tribunal, we might just die. I've not really done the maths on it. Like, obviously, we're just doing this. They tribunal this. I also just die to another marshal. 
So we're going to gain 8. So say they just have another marshal. We gain 16. We go to 22. We block a 4-4. Four, four. We take 3, 6, 9, 13, 17, 20. So we beat another marshal. What happens if they have a tribunal? Um, they take the enchantment. We're on 14. Oh, the knights are going to be growing too. Yeah, the knights, the history is going off this turn as well. This is... I believe we will live through another marshal just about. Because we get to chump with the elves too. If they have a tribunal, but no marshal, um, we go to 14, and we block a knight, we block both knights, and we take 2, 4, 6, 8, we survive. Alright, so we survive either way through just one thing, I believe. Two four eight, two four six eight, eleven. Yeah, so I think this is the play. Change stream subject to maths. Somehow, somehow the Bogles that has to do maths. This isn't what I signed up for. Alright. Hopefully we're not dead. <laughs> this is so derpy. This is the derpiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright. Well. Are we alive? Believe we are alive. We'll find out, I guess. F2. Awesome. That's pretty good news. Rawr. Maps is for blockers. <laughs> it means our opponent's not doing much maps right now. New, however, will we win? I don't really love giving them a million mana when they have six cards in hand. Is the the slight issue here? But well, we deal eight the nine, so they're literally dead over the next couple turns. So I think we're gonna be okay. We need to like tribunal. On Sarah's wings, or else they die. Boop. Rar. Flying implacable death lizard. Have you ever seen a death lizard this implacable? Just keeps going. Oh, I can only... You're right, it's legendary. I'm derpy. I don't know how my cards work, Milkman. Alright. Well, if they have a March of the Multitudes, things get problematic. What? Alright. Sure. Ah, uh, Vivian's really good. I think we might lose this. 
Vivian is like kind of amazing. We can, uh, on Sarah's wings, take down the Vivian next turn. We'll also just put them to one and try and trample over and hope they don't have a march. They have Tristani in hand. <laughs> hey, Maddie. Immortal Sun. Wait, what's this combo deck going on over there? That combo deck is so strong. course immediately draw the second Vivian after they they play Immortal Sun. Yeah now they need Lance to this on Sarah's wings again. Because of their Immortal Sun. Alright, need to get a bit lucky here, but or they need an answer to the Immortal Sun. I mean, it's kind of the same. <laughs> These games have been very odd. Night of Autumn works. That is true. That would be what they call betrayal. We are bogling quite merrily. This is an utter bogling. Lyra versus Carnage Tire. Oh my god, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, this game's really dumb. Remember when we were four? We were at four. That was a long time ago. Alright. Yes, we're passing the turn. Maybe they'll attack, maybe. It seems somewhat improbable. Can but dream. That's such a tilt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure how I win from here. I'm going to take a draw step and then probably scoop. Opponent has figured out how to be an 8-7 lifelink flying vigilance. Alright, alright. Next game. Don't forget trample, indeed. Opponent has placated the death lizard. <laughs> Oh, that is wonderful. Huh. Crushing canopies in my deck. That's, I'm a bit surprised, Milkman. Agreed. What am I taking out? For these canopies. I also want the extra excellence binding. I'm not like 100% on that though. It's like fine. My wing calm was opponent decking. I think my march and altitudes are just so much worse than theirs. So it's tempting to take some out on that basis.
All right, let's try this. Just like 100% in the Bogle's plan. Might even like bring in an extra Bogle over the over the third march. Let's try this. The the cleansing novas are quite good against the Bogles plan, but I also think the Bogles plan is just the best way of us to win. Yeah, the flower flourishes are also just lands though. If we cut the flower flourishes, we probably don't have enough lands in the deck, I'm assuming. But this is fine. I'm also not sure we meant to have these seal ways in our deck. I wasn't a hundred percent about those either. I guess we only have the one left in. Which is not the end of the world. He's not Amara. That's pretty good too. It's my Danto Vanguards. Am I holding back both of these to block? punish them if they want to flip the landing. Like pay eight life, eat two creatures. I think I'm into that. This way if they want to attack, I get to eat two creatures. A Danto Vanguard, two Danto Vanguard. Indeed. Right, we have to hope they don't have tribunals in hand. We have to hope they have like cleansing novas instead. Then these on Sarah's wings are gonna be really good. Venerated Loxodon, Max Punish. Okay. Oh, uh, we have a free turn clock. These Vanguards, which is pretty nice. The Lifelink is going to stop them racing us too easily. Why not attack with the free one? Or you mean a couple turns ago? I didn't attack a couple turns ago because I wanted to punish them if they wanted to try and flip landing that turn by eating a couple 1-1s one in combat. I don't know if that was correct or not though. Uh, there's a rec there's Reclamation Sage and there's Knight of Autumn. We have a couple different ones in standard at the moment. Can we afford to cast this before the Onsera's wings? Or do we need to just like get this down right now to not die? If we cast this, we block the 2-2, two -two, we take 4, 5, 9. I probably just need to do this now and hope they don't have an answer to the Vanguard. Otherwise I'm just going to fall too far behind. They don't have an answer, like, we're not in a terrible position. If, like, the vanguard's cracking in for a bunch, we make another decent blocker next turn. Hmm. 
Sorry, just reading something a sec. Alright. I will block a 2-2. Two -two. Gladly. So we block a 2-2, two -two, we pay 4 life. Only already cost us two because of the lifelink. Lyra. My card is so good. Hmm. Right. Flower, get a planes. Cast the vine mare as another blocker. I assume. Problem is they attack with everything. Vine Mega goes on a 2-2, two, two. Vanguard goes on a 4-4, four, four. pay 4 life, down to 3, we go up to 5, but then we die. We might just need to go Elves plus hold open seal away. I don't think I can afford to take the hit off the Lyra. Yeah, I think we have to go Elves plus seal away, I agree. Otherwise we just kind of die. count losing the vanguard as dying. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. This is not ideal. Alright, see all way this, chump this. I already know how I get out of this. So the problem is they can now like play around settle really easily. By just attacking with like a sapling. Yeah. It's kinda rough. Based on these two matches, I'm kind of impressed. That's, uh, that person got 10th for the GP with this deck. Like, the Onsera's Wings plan is, like, very powerful. But so far our opponents have not had trouble answering it. Like, Vivian Reed is one of the most popular threats in the format. And incidentally answers on Sarah's wings. And you've played a version of this with Teferi in the gate. That's interesting, Michael. You can see uh, counter spells making a world of difference, but this current form, this just feels kind of awkward to me. Just like they either have Vivian for this. Or they can um, just have like a sweeper of some kind, also works. And Lyra just like trumps what the deck's doing a lot of the time too. Which is like the truth for lots of decks I guess. Lyra is an absurd magic card. Baneslayer Angel, etc. Yeah, you just run all the big cards and don't bother with stuff like map. That makes sense, Michael. But be less mid rangey and more combo y. Opponent has the fire. Uh, and does not really do anything. I guess it's got the seal way to buy time, but I don't think we can keep this. Oh. Scry towards something to do early. I guess is the plan. Rather than go to five. I 
we, we are almost back to our seven card hand, just about. Interesting. They're on Grixis, I assume. They're playing uh, Dusk Legion Zealot in their Grixis deck. Traveling back in time six months. Oh, FUD. Is there a FUD deck in the format? Torgar deck. Is this some Saffron Olive thing? I assume... This is some Saffron Olive thing. Oh, it's a Japanese wild thing. Interesting. Okay, that is a Phoenix. We have a seal away for the Phoenix, so it's not too scary. If we attack, do they block? Probably. There aren't like many kill and egg token effects in green white, right? So I guess we just pass the turn. Jeez. Each gang is quite large. Um, so I can overhold him and march for free. Try and eat through some goblin tokens. I think that's the plan. Like just try and buy a bit of time. Interesting. Is this actually the FUD deck list or is it just like a, a mid-range list? <laughs> yeah, this looks different than the FUD deck. That makes sense. Um, God, they have City's Blessing now. Could pay for life to eat one of these instead. Then they probably just like shoot my vanguard in response. So I have to pay another four life, and then things get kind of gross. I think the plan is Vivian minus on Twilight Prophet before they get their card draw engine online. Bolts the Bob, indeed. Now we can hold back Vanguard to block Siege Gang. <laughs> that sounds probable, Adam. Right, this is fine. Goodbye, Vivian. You will be missed. Cinder Barons, living that Cinder, Cinder Barons life. Right, um, so we can start swinging. Fine Mare, Temple Garden, Forest. I kind of just want land, a land so I can cast this Carnage Tyrant next turn, right? That sounds amazing to me.
Torrent of Hellfire. I believe that rotated out. That was in uh, Amonkhet block. Attacking me. Interesting. I'm just gonna have to be a bit careful of my life total here. I mean, is there any reason for them not to play the land out? Knight of Grace is nice. Uh, I'm gonna attack here. If they block, I will take the trade quite happily. <laughs> uh, this does not have cycling. Wags, you're a few months behind. The cycle lands left standard. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm kind of considering not casting the Tyrant. Specifically because of Reborn. I don't know if that's just like being way too cute. I could just cast all three of these, and that's like pretty great. Hmm. I don't know. I'm unsure. I guess if they reborn us, we just sack the Vivian and still keep our dinosaur, so it's fine. <laughs> wow, that's impressive, Wags. Alright, what do we want against them? I assume Ixenon's Binding is, like, great against the black-red deck, but can't remove them in any way. Planeswalkers seem fine. Uh, sea Always are good against... Phoenix specifically. It didn't seem great against the rest of their creature base yet, though, so I think I just don't like the two copies. What cards are bad? I don't know that we need the on Sarah's Wings plan. Problem is, like, everything seems kind of good here. The go wide plan seems good. It's a trade off of their tokens. I think I'm going to take out these settles. They do not seem great. To bring in some bindings. Maps may be a bit slow. Yeah, I could see that being the case. They have got like a slightly aggressive element to their deck. Maybe with the bindings in the deck, I can just take out another seal away. Replace in this deck with in standard. <laughs> I'm not the biggest treasure map fan in the world. Right, this is fine. Got some removal by some time. Hopefully we can line up a binding on their phoenix. Yeah, it does. I think to an extent that's just like every card being good with Frenzy though. Frenzy is good with magic cards. Because Frenzy is broken. Wow. Alright. Might be regressing not bringing in what on Sarah's Wings. Maps in the... My Oh my god, this is so much more aggressive than last game. We're so dead. 
We're so incredibly dead. Okay, I'm gonna hope they don't have removal for this. And it kind of holds down the ground a tiny bit. This is definitely the Torgar deck. Oh my god. Playcrafter. Nice. Hmm. Can I afford to play Vinemare? If I take 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright. Just that's the plan. Vinemare plus wings, yeah. They don't have another Edict. Or any burn spells. This could definitely get us there. Warlord, we take four, five, six, nine. <laughs> Indeed, Wags. Just need them to have literal nothing. Oh my god, we're dead. Uh, uh, I think this on Sarah's Wings card is just really bad. Stuff like this just keeps happening. It's like, now it does literal nothing. Alright, let's not show it to them. Hmm. Interesting. What is my opinion? What is the my opinion about the Rakdos deck? Um, I don't really have any strong opinions about it. Seems like it is probably not great against control. It's deafening Clarion, but why does Wings not grant first strike to because Sarah Angel does not have wings. Flavorful. It's called a flavor win. This sounds weird. I kinda want to bring in this, because it blocks goblin tokens. And uh protects us from Playcrafter. I don't know if that's ridiculous. I kind of want to make room for settles too is the problem. I think see always is just bad. I think the planeswalkers are also not great. Oh, it's good versus Siege Gang too. Yeah, they're 100% coming in then. Siege Gang is a scary magic card. Right, final card is probably either the Settle or the third on Sarah's Wings. Vivian is too much? Maybe. Vivian's kind of slow. It's also a way for us to win the game though. I guess they don't have that many things we can kill with Vivian. Let's just do this. I'm also tempted to just go like full bogles. Now that we have like additional things to sack to edicts. I'm gonna try this. I'm not like that comfortable sideboarding with this deck, but let's go first. Yes, we keep this hand. Doesn't really do anything, but one freeze are like good blockers against that deck.
two four is a, is a better blocker, indeed. <gasps> what? So rude. How do we ever win the game now? <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna hold back this druid of the cow. They have goblin uh, rabble mentor in their deck. I want to be able to block the 1-1. One, one. I don't think getting in for 1 damage matters at all. In comparison. Hey. Look at me. Knowing a card that exists in the format. It does. It does feel that way. I agree. There's 3,000 IQ plays. Oh my god, these plague crafters. I hope they don't have like find in their deck, just as uh, soul salvage. Happily pay for life to kill a goblin token. Okay. Just try and get them dead as fast as possible before they can get their game plan online. This kind of tyrant is going to be very hard for them to beat. Apparently, the opponent had a hand of war bosses. <laughs> Makes sense. Binding is a messed up card. Alright. Well, I'm going to finish this league. Uh, I'm going to head to the bathroom first, though. I'll be back in about two minutes, and then we'll continue. Danto Vanguard doing its best to snuff out aggression. It's snuff out with buyback. You get to cast it once per turn. It's great.
<laughs> Chaz stream hype. It's not Chaz stream, it's Mew stream. Let's hop into the next one. Is it almost time for Rainbow Lich memes? Not quite yet. Huh. Oh, mulligan this hand. Sure. Let's find some lands. Awesome. You know, versus green black we're playing against Derek. Hey brave guy. Good to see you. You unironically love the opening hands this deck produces. Uh, I do not particularly love the opening hands this deck produces, but yeah, certainly something. Hmm. Please don't fear the Reaper. They can pay for life to kill their Lana or Elf and give them a card. That sounds not great. Don't really know what I meant to do there. Right, let's attack. I'll happily pay for life to kill the Reaper, given that opportunity. True, I'm gonna get life back with Sarah's wings for sure. We really need this on Sarah's wings to work, or else we're just gonna get run over here. Honestly, we might still get run over anyway. Like four, eight, nine, yeah. <sighs> it's kind of sad. All right, let's copy the sideboarding guide from the person who played this deck. I'm just gonna copy it like exactly how he did it. So we take out the sea always, we take out the vanguard, a vanguard, take out a vine mat, take out the Sarah's wings, and we bring in two honor guards, settle, Khan, and Vivian. I think the contempt literally leaves us dead on board, doesn't it? Unless I'm missing something. Just like, hmm. I think what I'm I'm un, not keen on about this deck is it just feels really incoherent to me. You have like a bunch of different cards all pulling you in different directions. That card's not beatable. Oh my lord. Wild Griff Walker. This is the world's most embarrassing Vine Mare. Threatening to trade with a Wild Griff Walker. I 
I said Wild Griff Walk is just like one of the most impressive cards in Green Black to me. There are so many things it just completely invalidates on its own. I feel forced to take this trade. Okay. What a free two first strike on defense. So that helps a lot. Should buy us time to find a planeswalker. And our else goes to the bin. Alright, planeswalker please. I guess that's not terrible. Let's start swinging. Obviously we can't ever beat a finality, so I'm still just going to keep casting my things out. <laughs> I do not disagree with you, Adam, for what it's worth. Alright, still just only attack with the vanguard here. Keep chewing through creatures. Okay, best card in black green comes down. Oh, the other best card in black green. Yep, it's pretty good here. Hey there, Og. Yeah, I was worried this is where it was going with my opponent aggressively chump blocking, but at the same time, I don't think I really have any option but to attack. I feel like those attacks are kind of forced on my part. So I'm not doing anything to pressure them, I'm just giving them more time to draw into finality anyway. Which is maybe fine, like we've got lots of planeswalkers in our deck. sense. I am legitimately amazed someone came 10th at the Grand Prix with this deck, having played it. So one of my teammates asked me to test this deck, because he was curious to see as to how it would play on paper. And, uh, I think it's just like... It might actually just be the the worst deck I've played in New Standard out of decks that like look at like at least vague attempts to do something serious. That teammate needs to be fired, I know right. <gasps> oh my gosh. Like he he requested these three decks and this one was uh you're, you're legitimately amazed. So, I mean, if you run hot and, like, if you run hot with the stack, you can maybe get go 6-2. But this is so bad. It's just so horrifically incoherent. Like, none of what's going on here makes any sense once you start playing with it. You have, like, this weirdo combo stuff 
and then you have like this token ego wide stuff and then you have these random aggressive creatures and then you have like this midrange stuff and they're all just pulling in wildly different directions so that like none of the cards really work together Druid of the Cow. I mean, I didn't point at the Druid of the Cow when I said that, to be fair. Yeah, this is just awful. Feels like it doesn't really have, like, a game plan, proper game plan either. You could kind of see that in the sideboard guide that was posted. There was a lot of just, like, boarding out one copy of random cards. So there's, like, a single on Sarah's Wings left in the deck, or a single Vine Mare left in the deck, or whatever. It's just like, I don't know what the plan's meant to be at all. Looking at it, it just wants to find and ramp to march, then why not just play like a green-white token stack where everything is coherent and works together, you know? With like loxodons and stuff. Let's just, uh, let's just get rid of this one. <laughs> 